chili powder, cumin. Do you have a measuring spoon? A uh, one teaspoon and a half teaspoon. No, teaspoon. Oh, I didn't know that. This is from Hawaii. Okay. Let me go ahead and cut these now. So, you'll just have to use, that's, that's a half a teaspoon. Okay, well, you're going to do it. I am? Yeah. Oh. It will have a little bell. If you hit that little bell, each time we make a video, a vlog, that is like video and vlog, just want you to know. And if each time we do that, then you're going to be aware of it. Is that cool or what? Is that cool? It's really cool. Really cool. Especially if you want to follow. And believe it or not, we were at church this morning doing an event. Mm -hmm. And people who watch our vlog came up to me and they said, Is that Miss Mamie? I said, Yep. They were so delighted to meet her or see her because they think she's so hilarious. So Those are watermelon fries. Wow, I love this. I can't wait to see what you're going to do. What we're going to do, right? Right. Some of the ingredients we're gonna use. Cooking in the kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. It costs you nothing. Just click that little subscribe button. Hi. Well, I told you we were gonna be back this afternoon and we're back. And I told you we were gonna make a spiced watermelon fry. Well, it's not really a fry, but it kind of looks like it. And what I've done is I've taken seedless watermelon again, and I've taken the rind off of it, and I've cut it into pieces like this. You can make them in half if you didn't want them that big, but I just left them that way. And what this is gonna be, this is gonna be kind of an hors d'oeuvre. So you know how when you go and they have all these fattening, which we do love, chips and dips and all kinds of wonderful uh, hors d'oeuvres? But sometimes we just want something a little bit light. And so this would be something fun. You could do this all season, as long as watermelon season is going on. And in Arizona, it's in for a long time. So anyway, I want you to show you how easy this is and how pretty it is. So what I'm gonna do, Mamie, will you come over here? If you think you can get over here with all that jewelry on your hands? It's not too heavy, I think I can do it. Okay, what I want you to do in this bowl, I want you to put one teaspoon of chili powder. One teaspoon of chili powder. Show them the other end so they don't get scared when they see that big thing. Oh, yeah, this is for the teaspoon and and this is for the cup. I got this in Hawaii, this little set, and I think this is really clever. Okay, so we have a teaspoon of, it is, teaspoon of uh, chili powder in there. Would it be easier if I put it in something else? Oh, or take the lid off. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's <laughs> She's thinking, even with all that jewelry, it hasn't, it hasn't altered her brain. So, uh oh, now see, we never do that, maybe because oh. you might get too much. So it's better always to measure off what you're using. Oh, off the bowl. Yeah. Do you think that's okay though? Well, go ahead. Okay, this time okay, we're, so gonna make it, we're gonna make it better. We'll put the chili powder in and I'll be, I'm gonna get you something. Now I'm gonna have you put a half a teaspoon of cumin in that mix. Okay, I'm gonna do it over this first. Okay, half okay. teaspoon of cumin in there. Oh, I'm supposed to move to this one. Okay. Yeah, half a teaspoon of cumin. Uh, cumin is always good with chili powder. Is it, is it kind of light pepperish? No, cumin is kind no. of a Mexican flavor. Mexican. Then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of coriander. And but I wanna tell you something about this coriander. If you buy coriander in the store, in the spice department, 
it's about five dollars for a small little container. Oh, really? So what I did, I went over to the vegetable department and got a bag of coriander seed for 99 cents. And then I put it in my food processor Clever. and ran it like until it's almost like a powder. So now we have coriander and we have a lot for the future too. Really? So a big difference, and plus it's fresh because I ground it this, just now. So what is it kind of like? Coriander, well, you tell me. Take a taste of it. It's a Mexican oh. spice. No, I can't do that. Okay. 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 Anyway, so put it, your... Put that in there. Is that, that a half a teaspoon? That's a half. Okay, perfect. So now I want you to put in... This. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, let's don't do that over the bowl. Oh, no, we don't want to do lesson. that. A half. Oh, hallelujah. Okay. All righty. Take that away. Now, I want you to mix this with, get it all mixed up really, really good. It's really, really good. I think you already did. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay. Okay. Once you've done that, then I want you to pour it over our fries. Are you serious? I'm serious because oh, this is your goodness, gorgeous watermelon. This is going to be delicious, okay. Mamie. Okay. Okay. That's what Go she ahead. Said. And then I want you to gently toss that. If we, I'll do it. You do it. I don't do my hand. Okay. So we're going to gently toss yeah. this. Okay. 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 Get it all covered. And, and then what I want you to do, I want you to get me a plate or something that we can arrange this on. Okay. Okay. I can do that. So go ahead. Let's get it and we've, got, we've got all of our spices mixed really nice. Let me give it a taste. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I don't mind tasting that now. Mm -hmm. You like it? I'm different. That's good. Sure, they bring the Mexican lovers? Yep. Okay, so we're going to do that. What I've done, when Mamie's arranging that, I'm going to put this bowl in the center, and then she's going to arrange around it. What I did on this bowl, this is sour cream. A half, it's about a cup of sour cream. One whole lime that I've juiced, and I... Um, grated it a little bit to get some of the zest. Put it in there already? Put it in there with a little bit of salt. Okay. And that's your dip. Okay. To go with your... So do I do it like, like this, like a... You do it any way you want. It's yours. But this way, it's ready to go to the party. Mmm, that and, is so cool. Yeah, and it's something that nobody's, nobody's had before. No, they And it's not. really, really, really refreshing, delicious, and it's got a little bit of a kick. Not hot, but it's just a little bit of a nice flavor um, on it. Okay, we'll show you when we have finished this ranging after right. a while. Okay. Oh, that's, that's it? That is it. Those are our two okay. salads for today. Make them, if you want, make both of them, or if you don't want to overdo the watermelon. Remember the tomato one we did, which was really good with the watermelon, mm -hmm. or the other one? That we did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, go I'm ahead and try it. it out and put it on right. my plate, right? Right. I won't dip it in. So, oh, anyway, what do you think with the lime crema in it? You know, crema is so. That makes the salad. Okay. Crema is so nice. good on anything, but particularly dips with the Mexican flair, taco salad. Don't just use cra uh, taco, I mean, uh, sour cream. Make a crema, which basically is sour cream with either salsa in it or some kind of juice. And today we did lime juice. And don't dip it in there because it made it turn a different color. It's so you would want to put the dip, yeah, put a spoon in the dip, and then have them put it on their own plate. But anyway, go ahead and finish your, arranging this, Mamie, and then come on back and show the folks. So that is it. We're getting ready for our Labor Day party and we're gonna have a lot of fun. But anyway, this is a nice order to take. And then what you could do if you wanted to when you're done with this, let me see if I have some here. I believe I do. Um, and, and the one thing, if we wanna buy, if we want to invite some chubby people, 
<laughs> it's okay. We like chubby people. We, we don't just, know any chubby people. We just people. don't know any that we need but to. We love chubby. Right. And you we know what? I don't want to do that. And we like to help people, and we'll be giving some of the salad away if we don't eat it all. Well, or before that, so that we can make sure. So what you want to do when you're done? I think our bowl is too big. It'll be, I think okay. it'll be better with a smaller bowl to make the fries get a, look better. Get a smaller bowl then. Go ahead. A smaller bowl? Yeah. Well, here, you for this this right here. How would that work? Okay. better with a smaller bowl. But we didn't know this was our first time to do this, but we know it. I really like the crema with it. Is that how you say crema? Crema, crema, crema. Crema, what kind of language is that? Spanish. You think? I know. Right. So that if you want to kind of then put the bowl back in the center, then you yeah. want to just kind of put some cilantro. Always garnish. garnish around that garnish. to make it pretty maybe. Uh -huh. Just put some that there. is so pretty. I like the red and green. It's not Christmas, but we still like it. Well, it's summery. It's summery. That's, That's right. It. With the fresh cilantro. Yeah. So show the folks what it looks like. Well, it might fall off, but I will stop and get a picture of that really good. Right. So that was it. We had fun today, and we hope you learned something and that you will make either both or at least one of these salads. Oh, that is so good with all those spices that in it. That is. You wouldn't expect it, but it's delicious. Beautiful watermelon fries. Isn't that attractive? Yes, I love it. I love that. Thank you, Kathy, for doing You're that. You're welcome, and I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday. And keep watching and looking for Kathy and Miss Mamie, because we're going to have some more fun things for and you. And subscribe and ring the bell. Yes. Take care. God bless you. Thank you, folks, and aren't we privileged to live in America? We are. The land of the free, that we get to celebrate not only our great holidays, but Labor Day to honor those who labor for us to give us our food. Have a great weekend, everyone. God bless.